It is the middle of April now and spring is in her full glory. The air is fresh and soft and filled with the scent of spring blossom flowers carried so gently by the morning breeze. The land is so alive here and it reawakens every part of my being and connects me to this beautiful season of change and new growth. Living alongside nature's seasons and rhythms teaches me something new at every turn of the wheel and that every season is necessary and important and holds its own value. After winter there is spring, after the sun there is also rain and that changes bring new life and new growth and can blossom into something beautiful. So right now I've come out into a really beautiful forested area. It's here near my parents' home in Wales and it is just so beautiful here today. Uh, there's a lovely river and everything is just so green and alive and I'm just so grateful to be here right now and so happy. <laughs> it is so peaceful here. and. I'm just taking my time to breathe some fresh air and just relax and just take in all this beauty um, while I'm here visiting my family. I've been here for a good couple of days now and um, I will be leaving <laughs> in a few more days and I'm just taking every minute to soak in all of this peace and quiet and just be in nature, <laughs> which for me is um, just something so special when I can get out um, into nature like this properly. Um, it is a really special time for me. I have also brought my basket as I always do because today I want to go foraging for some wild weeds um, and I especially want to see if I can find some nettles and maybe also some chickweed and cleavers and hopefully some dandelions if I can find some. Um, nettles I want to find because I love making nettle soup this time of year. It is so, so delicious. Um, and then chickweed is a really nice, fun um, little wild weed um, that is just actually really fresh and de delicious and you can use it in salads or anything like that. It's just, just a really nice spring green, um, edible and delicious. And then cleavers are also edible and can be used as a tea. They are very good um, for kind of filtering the body after the winter months and just uh, kind of revitalizing and just getting rid of any toxins in the body or any kind of stagnation. So um, they're really nice um, as a tea. And then dandelions, you can make like dandelion syrup, dandelion honey. Um, you can also have them as a tea as well. They're really, really beneficial, really good for you. And so, yeah, I'll be off to find my weeds and I'll see you very soon. The forest is alive with so many beautiful plants that can be used as food and medicine and I take with gratefulness a small piece of what nature has to share to craft into healing foods and remedies and to share this beauty with my loved ones.
This land that is so alive and so ever-changing, that shifts and blossoms into something new and so beautiful with every season, has shifted something in my heart and given me the courage to move forward with each small step at a time to a new path and a change and to something still yet unknown to me, but nonetheless a beautiful new season of life. Well, I managed to find some nettle, dandelions, and some cleavers. So I think I'm about all set to go home, make some nice tea, and hopefully make some lovely soup. Okay, let's go home. So here I have some wild garlic that I collected a couple of days ago and just kept in the fridge and I've just let it wilt overnight now because today I wanted to try two lovely recipes with it, uh, one using a butter and one using olive oil. So I'm excited to see how that goes and I'll give it a try. Spring is my favourite season and taking the time to craft something beautiful and useful from the plants I find around me brings me so much joy and makes me feel so connected with the season and the fragrant smell of wild garlic always brings me back to warm memories of running through the woodlands of the Welsh countryside and inhaling all the magical aromas of spring. And so this little wild herb reminds me of home the place of green fields, yellow rapeseed, and a vast sky that touches the hills, where in the deep enchanted forests and glens, time stands still, and the animals and fairies dance in the glistening moonbeams. Taking a moment, whenever I can, to visit home, experience the magic of nature again, and to feel what is beautiful and important, has reminded me recently that time is short, and that I deeply want to find ways of beginning to live the life I want to live, and do the things I love to do right now, and not wait for a better or easier time. And so, I am starting forth on a new journey. Wow, look at the color of this oil. This is so amazing, it's so green. 
oh, it's just so bright and it's also so fragrant. It smells amazing. I think this is going to go really nicely on any kind of salads or um, anything really. It's olive oil and garlicky and it just smells so delicious. I'm really excited for this. Wow, look at that color. That's amazing. Hello there everyone. I hope you're all doing well today. So I have been sipping on this lovely tea that I made from the uh, wild blackberry bushes from the little green shoots um, and it's so nice. It's really delicious. It's like it tastes like a very light uh, soft kind of green tea almost um, and it's really really delicious and blackberry bushes are so um, wild blackberry bushes are so abundant at, in so many places right now so I highly recommend if you come across you can find the um, just the little new green shoots that are just growing now and they make a beautiful really lovely tea um, and they're just really abundant they're everywhere right now in nature so highly recommend it's really really nice but yes as you can see i am back home now um, at my home in london i went home for about two weeks um, and i got back um, a good couple of days ago already i've been here for <laughs> quite some time uh, i had a break from my students and all the schools and all the children had an Easter break um, here for about two weeks. So that was really nice. I got to go home as well and see my family and just catch up and just be in some nature and <laughs> relax, to be honest, and not have to talk and not have to dance. <laughs> it was actually really nice. It was a very nice little break and very much needed. Um, somehow this this whole time from the new year from January until now seemed to have just gone really really fast and seemed to have been very very intense so <laughs> it was really nice to just yeah have a little have a little breather and I feel very much um, refreshed for my new um, and final term uh, of this year um, with my school and my students so Yes, I feel very much um, refreshed and renewed. <laughs> but yes, it was really, really nice to be able to just take some time to myself, take some time to um, think and reflect. Um, and through that time, I actually was really deeply thinking about and considering some options, um, some things that I felt I wanted to do for quite some time now um, but kind of perhaps didn't feel it was the right time or um, just didn't feel like I could do it and they were th little things that actually seem very small but to me make a or will make I guess a very substantial difference to um, my life and my my days and kind of just my daily routines um, and there will be a couple of more things that I hopefully hopefully can put in place uh, this year if all goes to plan but one of the first decisions I decided to make was to actually take one more day off in the week for myself um, uh, away from teaching and that feels like an incredibly small thing to do, but for me it was actually a very huge deal because up until now um, I have been teaching children ballet for almost 10 years now, <laughs> um, starting off teaching for many different schools in London and now having my own school for a good number of years already. And up until now, I was teaching six days a week <laughs> for all of these years, many hours every evening, um, and my Sunday being my only day off. And in that Sunday, I kind of had to make sure I get 
everything else done and <laughs> all my life or our life here together kind of sorted out and the house and everything like that so and and also to just be able to breathe and then start all over the next day <laughs> on monday and this is not to mention as well as for my my own school i am also um doing all the admin all the emails um talking to all the parents and just essentially making sure everything is going smoothly um, and everything is in in place where it needs to be every day <laughs> and that everybody's questions and concerns are answered and dealt with and that everybody's happy uh, including my teachers my wonderful teachers who also teach with me and help me so much um, so it has definitely been quite challenging and I think I have been feeling I've been feeling it already I've been feeling quite tired um, and especially now um, having this channel having my YouTube channel which has been so incredible for me this um, this November it will be two years of me um, having my channel and I actually can't quite believe it that it's it's going to be two years in November this time has gone so quickly and I have learned so much already and I have enjoyed every minute of it um, immensely and so actually a part one part of me making this decision was um, actually due to the fact that I, I, I kind of felt like I wanted um, an extra day to perhaps focus a little bit more also on these videos um, because up until now it has been quite the challenge um, because as I say apart from doing everything that I do on a daily basis with admin and teaching um, I also pretty much um, record and edit almost every day of the week so it normally takes me to make one of these videos um, it normally takes me a couple of days to film it all um, to get the right lighting or to go outside uh, or to do the shots inside that I need to get done um, like this beautiful oil <laughs> but uh, it takes me a couple of days to film it all and get all the um, all the shots that I really want and then also a day or two to edit it put the music together do the color grading it's a whole process and I feel like I'm only just Kind of recently also getting to grips with all of this technical things of yeah music and color grading and i feel like i'm still learning very much still learning um not to mention the camera and sound and everything like that i feel like i'm still very much a beginner but i also feel like i've learned a lot and so that has really inspired me and these these videos are I am so passionate about everything I share here with you guys and they bring me so much joy um, and I know I, I may have said this already but making these videos is kind of like a, a process to me it is a almost a meditative process where I get to share things that I am so passionate about and also kind of share my my life as as it is but with a little bit more of a romantic view um, so maybe not how things are obviously all the time <laughs> but all the things that I love to do and I want to do more of and wish I could do more of in my day and I try to um, visualize them in a more artistic and creative way as to how it how beautiful it can be and just trying to capture all the beautiful moments and the light and the beauty of plants and herbalism which is a huge passion of mine now <laughs> if you haven't noticed and it is something I am so interested in and I want to I hope to keep keep learning about so this was kind of also one of my um, sort of inspirations to have a little bit more time hopefully to now be able to work on these videos um, without rushing <laughs> without knowing that I have to run and rush somewhere in an hour or two hours time and 
just to be able to have a bit more time to focus on um, each project for as much as I would really love to and where normally I would have to um, have a very um, very tight and scheduled um, time frame in order to do everything and to manage everything in one day <laughs> and in one week and it was up until this point um, quite challenging for sure but I hope that now with at least one extra day I will be able to um, calmly have more time to work on um, this passion project really and it is such a passion for me um, and I want to keep learning and keep getting better at it and to be able to keep sharing with all of you and on that note I actually want to say a huge thank you to all of you because I have now reached 10,000 subscribers and I don't quite know how that's happened. <laughs> um, it is actually quite insane to me. It is quite crazy. I don't understand how, how it's happened, but I am so, so grateful. And from the bottom of my heart, I want to say a huge thank you to all of you um, for all of your support and all your love and kind words um, on all of my videos. And I want to say hello to all the new subscribers and thank you, thank you to all of you and all the older subscribers who have been here for such a long time and I uh, recognize all your names now and it truly warms my heart so much uh, when I receive um, each and every comment um, on my videos. It just, it makes me feel like there are so many of you who um, clearly can uh, relate and appreciate the kind of things that I do and the kind of slower um, way of living um, that I am I am trying to create for myself, um, be it in a more <laughs> romanticized view, but I am just so grateful that all of you are here and um, I'm just so grateful to share the space with you and Thank you, thank you for being here and thank you for hearing me and <laughs> watching my videos and so from the bottom of my heart I, I am so grateful and just wanted to say thank you all so much, it truly means the world to me. And um, on that note I guess I will probably carry on now because I also have some nettles, stinging nettles, <laughs> waiting for me and I really wanted to make a nettle soup today actually, nettle and potato soup um, and I'm really looking forward to that so I think I will now finish off my tea and go ahead and start with that um, and of course I will leave all the recipes for my oil and the soup um, and the butter which is also something I'm really excited to try so um, I will leave all the recipes down below for all of you and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and thank you so much again all of you and I shall see you soon. Goodbye.
And so, as I slowly learn to let go of some things and bring forth new things into my life, I am reminded by nature around me that this is a process that takes time, patience and love, and that each season of life has something beautiful to offer and a lesson we can learn, and it is my hope to keep learning as I step onto this new path ahead.